time to make the meatloaf. I have 3.45 pounds of ground chuck. I have a one pound chub of mild pork sausage, Publix brand. I like their brand because they don't have, um, there's no MSG in it, so I like that. So despite what people have to say about MSG, it gives me a headache. Um, I'm going to season it with some adobo, parsley, fresh minced garlic. I'm going to put one whole onion in it, two large carrots, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight uh, stalks of celery. And, uh, oh, mushrooms. Well, the meatloaf's ready to go in the oven. The oven is preheated to 350. I don't always put ketchup on it, but sometimes I like the flavor of the ketchup on top of the meatloaf. So here we go. So I've got the meatloaf in there, the mushrooms in there. I'm going to set this, press high for 90 minutes. Oops, shoot. 90 minutes, hit start. Make sure your vent on top is to exhaust. It'll beep and let you know when the heat is up enough and it'll begin the E10 countdown, which goes from 10 to zero. At that point, It'll beep again, three quick beeps. You flip the vent on top to air tight, and after a few seconds, uh, maybe 30 seconds, uh, should, that should be all it takes, and then it will begin the 90 minute countdown and begin pressure canning. And when the pressure canning is done, it'll shut itself off. And then all you have to do is wait for about an hour or so let the machine naturally depressurize and cool off a little bit and then you can open it up and take the jars out. Countdown begin.
on. So this has been done for over an hour. The pressure is released. And it's open. Do, do, do. Oh, it's all bubbly. See the bubbles? Bubble, bubble, bubble. And a jar of mushrooms. Now that was packed full. Now it looks like half a jar. Four pints of meatloaf. And a half a pint of portobello mushrooms.